Hello, citizens of Radamite Nation of Theodoro. Welcome to the glorious Purple Frontiers. How my how many times I'm gonna use this intro? God knows, but I'm gonna use it while I can. Wait for late game France. Wait for late game me. <laughs> it is already sort of kind of late game for France. Well, not really. They they I what I, what I mean by that is that they got their uh, Elan idea. Of course, they could still get, like, um, revolution target, they could still get bullshit ideas, like, they could still go for defensive ideas. There's a bunch of opportunities to get more morale, but there's a bunch of opportunities for us to get more morale through the ideas as well. So I wouldn't just, like, rub it off like it's nothing. Still, GG, we have more morale in France. <laughs> By little longer, you mean 24 hours, we're fine. Learn how to stay longer in stream. What? Outrageous. Oh yeah, by the way, vassals, you could just go ham on everybody. That would be great. More vassals. Feed me vassals. I love vassals. Vassals, nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. It lacks, if it doesn't blow up, it max lacks the manpower I can to compete against puny human. True that. True that. Golden words. Alright, we're gonna annex both of these asses here. Uh, by which I mean Albania and Hungary. Then we're gonna... Feed Croatia, probably. Declare on Venice. But Austria's defender of faith. Maybe they will intervene. I kinda wish... Yeah, they're, they're, they're rivals with Venice, though, so even they're, if they're defenders of the faith, they're not going to intervene. They will be able to feed Croatia a bunch of land. Ooh, Prussia. Prussia's unbeatable, lately. We, we lost an advisor. Let's get another dude. Um, I really don't want to take a level 2, but I will. It's really not... Not good. Oh, snap. How old is this time? How old is this dude? He's pretty not old. Mm. Mm, stability. We got lots of free stability through through this game throughout this game, so I guess that's the payout. The payback. Brother. Alright, split off. Go get him. Go get him, boy. Go get him. Dun, 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 dun. Brandenburg, by the way. Doing, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well so far. Do we want to crush the HRE? We probably want to dismantle it. To remove it from the plane of existence. Eventually. We will do it. It's, it's really still... The game is young. We started it not more than 100 years ago. We're already doing very good progress here. I think we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. We will dismantle the Holy Roman Empire. Not holy, not Roman, nor an empire. <laughs> yes, yes, we will do. Yes, yes. Right. Stick back here. Fully occupying Serbia. Yeah. Prussia is very powerful as a nation. I like, I like easy mode a nation if you're playing them. I've seen this post on Reddit where the guy's like, you know, when I feel bad, I just play Prussia. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I just play Russia. Very relaxing. Very much relaxation, such wow, amazing. Want to see Jubraska? Yeah! More money, more problems! Why did I say that? Who knows? Don't ask me. I don't know either. Let's go here. Because we might need some cannons there. Some cannons. We have very low force limit. Very low, comparably. Comparably very low. 
But again, it's still not that not that long since the game start, so I suppose it's expected. Be forced to pay, no. Pretty much. Must we broke the lines with us? Really? You did? You just went ahead and did that. Oh. Yeah, so they did get the mission to subjugate Crimea. On their own, they beat up the Golden Lord, get aboard with Crimea, and pick up the mission. Alright, sure. So relaxing to recreate Terminus as Prussia. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, why wouldn't you? I think actually, like, um. We should probably pick up Brandenburg as an ally now instead of Muscovy. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. As soon as our royal marriage is gone. With Moskvy. Moskvy! We'll start working on Brandenburg soon. What was I gonna do? I was gonna peace out Serbia. That's what I was gonna do. You're gonna become my vassal, and don't even question it. I'm not gonna take your money because you'll need it to rebuild your army, and I need your army because you'll be my vassal. Don't have anyone defending you. Whereas I have all the people in the world. Oh, we're, we're actually doing okay on power here. We're pretty strong, all things considered. Probably Muscovy is stronger. But we also have Commonwealth. Best nation all. Yeah! Yeah, France is not really blowing out that much anymore. And Austria is really, like, competing with them there. France is not eating all of the Netherlands and uh, Lowlands that they used to. <laughs> alright. Alright. Things are going solid. Pull you off. Let's actually send a diplomat to Brandenburg. Theodorian and Slim Vassal Swarm. <laughs> Aww, they're cute though. They're working with me. They're, they're trying hard. They're trying their damnedest to help me out. Come on. I love vassals in this game. I used to be like, what? What the fuck am I supposed to do with vassals when I first played? Like, first a bunch of campaigns, I was like, what, why do I need vassals? But then I was like, vassals are great! And they are. Vassals are, like, the best thing in here. They're like children. They're like children, and they're powerful. Notice how when we uh, annexed Bulgaria, it, has, it had 11,000 men army. We didn't get a single force limit out of that, out of all of Bulgaria. We didn't get a single unit. Why? Because that's how the game works. If you have a set, like, it's just, it's just, it's just rules of the game. Alright, you vassal. That's pretty much it. Good. Good. Austria coalition does. That's bad. Mm. <clears throat> we want to rival who now? Bohemia is weak. Kara Kayunla is weak. Mom looks. Mom looks maybe. Just to set them set and forget. I wish I could rival Naples, but I guess they're just not available. Let's wait a little bit and see if we annex Albania. Will we get um what's its face? Next vassal. Yeah. And actually, instead of bringing relations with Brandenburg right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to Hungary. So you're plus 88, you will defend me if anybody declares on me, but I don't think the coalition will sparkle. Yeah, autonomy in provinces is also a huge factor, but really, really though, it's not that big. Okay, never mind, it's 75% autonomy. You're right, this is the pretty much probably the reason why we did it. But, uh, my point still stands. 
My point still stands. Vassals, it's like fighting two nations instead of one nation. It's pretty much, you can't beat a two nations. It is two separate armies, two separate manpower pools, two separate things. But they're fighting together against it. It's like having allies, but constantly. And they're cute, and they're smaller than you. You can command them around, and then you can annex them if you want to. Yeah! It's the best part about vassals, isn't it? Is that you can annex them. <clears throat> Alright, start annexing you too. Oh god, Annex annexation of Albania is like lightning fast. Come here, pretties! Well, that should have come a little bit earlier, I suppose. Alright, goodbye, Albania. Music is very fitting. I really like this soundtrack. I really like the new music with this. Break royal ties with Moscow and get an ally. I don't want to break royal ties. That will lose me a stability point. And I didn't go with diplomatic ideas, so I don't have the... Thing. I'm just kidding. Even if I went with diplomatic ideas, I didn't. I wouldn't have it yet. All right, so we don't need both of them. No, we we can keep one of them. What I just have you gone? We've gone defensive, we've gone innovative, and we've picked up influence. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of far ahead of a uh, YouTube series. Like we recorded quite a bit today. This has been a long stream. In fact, I'm gonna probably end this end the stream after this episode. Oh, was it glorious though? Oh dear, was it glorious? Declare another war? <laughs> no. No. We need more allies. We need to play it safe for a little bit. A little tad bit. People are getting pissy. People are getting pissy around me, and I don't really like that. It's good relations with Brandenburu. Brandenboro. Brandenboro. Norway will not transfer the trade power to Austria. Okay. Are these Byzantine lands? I'm not sure they are, but they might be. In Siki too, they are. I'm pretty sure, like, all of Kingdom of Georgia is the Jure Byzantine. Also, Armenia is. You know, the Jure Byzantine in CK2 is, like, all of that. <laughs> and if we're really talking about the Jure Byzantine, then that's gonna be, like, Roman Empire, Trajan period. <laughs> oh, yeah, can we rival Naples yet? No. That stinks. Well, let's pick now Mamluks then. We can get an advisor, which is gonna be. It's gonna be who? Oops, not that. Wrong button. So we're gonna have minus one here, really. It's minus one already. So we've got minus one. Dedicated to Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> sort of special series. I know, right? Oh, let's just go with Morale and Navy's dude. Morale and Navy's dude. Oh, we'd never set our national focus yet in this campaign, have we? Hmm, let's not set any. Let's not set any yet. We'll probably need the national focus when we get uh, this dude on the throne. I'm gonna have to flip him to two, two, three. Yeah, two, he's gonna become two, two, three instead of zero, three, four when we flip focus to admin. Well, effectively. That's I'm not gonna I'm not necessarily meaning that he's gonna become that, but that's effectively what's gonna happen. Pretty straight investment, sure. <clears throat> Maybe I'd rather go without any kind of military advisor and just pick a um pick a dude. What's his name? Statesman? <clears throat> Perhaps. Spend some points here. Mm. Converted heretics of Celestria. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Convert Beckus. 
Nice. I'm thinking next idea group we should probably get religious because we're we're getting getting a lot of getting a lot of promises that we need to convert. So maybe we need religious. How slow is con uh, the annexation? Oh yuck! Yeah, we need the statesman. Okay, I'd rather go with no advisor than. Yeah, I know, but unfortunately, <clears throat> that's our only choice. Last, do you need to form Byzantium? Just because I'm not gonna form it. And <clears throat> first, and the second, I can't. Even if I wanted to form it, I wouldn't be able to. It's not available. Could restore the Ventaki, though. That is possible. I'm not gonna take this right now because um, it's gonna give me claims, and claims expire, and I kind of want to shut down more stuff here before I can actually attack this uh, this stuff <clears throat> not really keeping up really not for keeping up with the series lol Your next vassals penalties. It's gonna get another one. Lol. Oh, Brandenburg. So, what are you feeling about us? Let's just let's just talk a little bit, Brandenburg. Could maybe get a uh, royal marriage. Can work in France. We could start working on him. But I don't think they will. The distance is even larger than with Brandenburg here. Don't really like us. <coughs> neutral, neutral, neutral. Pretty much everybody's neutral except for a bunch of outraged nations. Well, Tuscany. Tuscany could be an ally, but it's like temporary. Temporary ally. Not much more than that. Uh, do they have high tolerance then? Seems like they have high tolerance. They've got innovative, trade. Ah, huh. well, they have only minus five on tolerated heretics. I'm not sure. I thought that only happens when you have high tolerance. Hmm. Weird. Weird stuff. Probably Brandenburg is our best bet here. Definitely not Bohemia, because Bohemia ha hates our guts. They want Hungarian lands back. Not Denmark, because Denmark is relatively weak. Muskie would be good if they stayed actually allied, but they didn't. Huh. Well, you know. We tried to release as many nations as we could. We got... well, we didn't really release. But we got Bulgaria, we got Albania, we got some land from from this general region. This is the remnants of Byzantines, by the way. Uh, Ottomans never really touched it. So, yeah. Venice just kind of went gung-ho and conquered it all. Oh yeah, next Corfu, at long last. Rest in peace, sweet prince. Spain. Yeah, he wants Leica. Lol. Allied to his rival. That being um, Commonwealth, apparently. Mamluks. He's kind of pissed. He wants Cyprus. I managed to piss off everybody. <laughs> That's kind of remarkable. Everybody but Commonwealth. Well, Commonwealth is also has some border friction, and he used to desire these two provinces, but not anymore, I guess. Da, da, da. Still very slow. Seven more years in Hungary. 
Seven more years. Aye. Alright, well I think it's time to put a cut in between the YouTube series here. So thank you guys for watching. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for like this. I will see you next time, and as always, have a good day.